Ahoy shipmates, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever. Uh, we're picking up in 1936, which is exactly where we left off at the end of the last live stream. Um, and just because it's madness, uh, I've started out by the docks uh, down, down by the coast next to Warren. Um, it's busy. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to pause the game here because there's, there's kind of a bit to recap before we, we kick off. So over here is our, our kind of, you know, food harvesting. So we come down from the farm here and we drop it all off and it goes to the docks. Uh, the docks has just got, you know, everything waiting there. Um, you know, likewise, we've got stone waiting here. And frankly, you know, I could double the number of ships and and they'll, they'll still have, you know, plenty to be getting on with. Uh, the, uh, the, the newly fashioned uh, food line here, uh, serviced by Mr. Train, Evidently a naming error on my part there at some point. Um, you know, it's waiting until full before it sets off, uh, and at which point, you know, it'll get underway. Um, the, you've, your eye has undoubtedly been caught by the gargantuan number of passengers waiting at Warren, and, you know, this is this is your Monday morning commute, friends. Uh, there's 264 people waiting for the train at the moment, and it is a single train that is uh, shuffling between uh, Indianapolis, Warren, and Boston. So, I mean, that's, you know, the, the train itself has a, a capacity of, of 96, which is, you know, it's pretty respectable. But I could I could double the length of that train and, uh, and still make uh, a healthy return. Normally, I wouldn't be paused at this point, um, but there is such a terrifying amount going on that I, I wanted to recap before unleashing the, uh, unleashing the hordes. When we head over to Boston, uh, Boston itself is, well, it's not quite flourishing. I mean, uh, Warren is definitely the, the poster child for uh, for everything going swimmingly right now. Um, Boston, however, because it's not getting any goods, uh, any cargo at all, is, well, it's just down in the dumps a touch. But, you know, we've got someone waiting to come back from the airport, whether they've traveled on a plane or not, I have no idea. But the lack of demand here is clearly being fed in part uh, by by the lack of growth in Boston, so getting some goods coming out here fairly early on is going to be quite a high priority. Likewise, oh hello, look, there's an aeroplane. Uh, uh, which one are you? Uh, you're a you're a you're a one of those. You're a DC three, a Dakota nonetheless. Uh, here are, look at that. See, hovering majestically in midair, in exactly the same way that bricks don't. Um, and then we head down to Indianapolis, and I have tried this out. I'll show you what I've tried out. Now, when, on the stream, I said that, you know, this station was actually a monumental screw-up. Uh, not least of all for the, the expense of having to delete the piece of road that was there previously. In fact, I ought to put that back in. There we go. So my services can run. Actually, no, I'm going to have to remove it again. Business as usual. Um, just to show you what I mean is... This, the idea behind this line is it goes further, right? So I want to extend over to the other side. Now, ignore construction not possible. We can, you know, we can pop a quick hurdle in the middle of here. But I can't get it to do it. See, so that's, you know, that's the, the steepest bridge we can build there right now. And, yeah, you can't get a ship underneath. That's a, that's a... A big problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's no two ways about it. So basically, I've got to move this station at some point. I don't want to because it's working. Right now, that particular passenger line is my uh, well, it's, it's, it's my main breadwinner. That said, we do have others. Uh, not least of all, uh, the, uh, the the CFS trolley fodder here, which is uh, which is about to pick up a lot of oil. It's going to get a full load immediately and head straight back again. And given that there's 219 waiting, I've almost got enough supply going on now to uh, to set a second tanker in motion, which would, I mean, the tanker itself pays off a phenomenal amount every time it makes a delivery. So that's, you know, that's pretty tempting stuff. Uh, when it delivers down to the other end of the route, which is not that way, it's this way, uh, delivers down to the other end of the route here, I think, yes, it does. Um, Again, we've got, you know, fuel waiting for the stone bulk to go back on, which is excellent. Uh, likewise, construction materials plenty to go back on stone bulk, which means it's all heading into the right place to be further distributed. This is absolutely splendid. It's basically showing that these cargo routes are, are working like a charm. Um, 
the only you know the only real downside such as it is is i'm not distributing it fast enough and that means that upgrading from trucks to trains uh in you know relatively short order is going to be going to be fairly necessary now moving on to some of the newer build if we haul all the way up to the north end of the map the san bernardino to santa rosa line is working quite nicely we, you know we've got, we've got a few passengers waiting plenty of people want to ride on the tram who wouldn't Nobody waiting at the airport. Kel surprise. Um, and, uh, you know, and the passenger train itself, I believe, is full. There we go, 90 passengers on board. So, again, that's going to be making me a nice chunk of change once in a while. So, here's the thought process, chums. Uh, we were looking at aircraft in the last episode. I'm going to set things in motion here. Anyway, we might as well watch something while I pontificate further. Uh, here we go. There you go, a bit of, bit of that. Look at that, I mean, the, the, the pale white grey livery there, looking absolutely splendid on uh, on this Atlantic. Um, yes, we were, uh, yeah, the, the speculation was that actually there is no reason to fly to San Bar uh, Bernardino because there's nothing to do there. Uh, you know, it's not getting any goods delivery of any kind at all, which means that it's not growing the kind of jobs or shopping facilities that might entice uh, the average Bostonian to hop on a plane and uh, and zip on down for the day, it, given that that's presumably what these people intend to do. Um, so I do need to find some way of growing either one of these towns. Actually, Santa Rosa might be the better bet because they could fly into San Bernardino, grab themselves a train, zip on up to Santa Rosa, have a jolly old time, head back again and jump back on the plane and head back to Boston. That was option one. Option two was a second airport, because maybe that airport is just too far away. And basically, the middle of the map, you're looking at either Los Angeles or, or Garden Grove. Now, Garden Grove isn't bad, but it is at the kind of the crest of a hill, which means that putting an airport down here is always going to run a little bit pricey. Eh, it's not too bad over there, I suppose. Um, Given that, oh, 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 600,000. That's a steal. I ought to buy two in case I lose one. Um, all right, I take all of that back. So Garden Grove, possibly, possibly a good location. And I'm not going to be putting airports absolutely everywhere. I think I'll put them in, in as many places as makes sense. Uh, Los Angeles I quite like because we could get a nice uh, coastal airport going on here, well, as much as the river is is coastal and you know and we can get there for you know uh, shade under 500,000 that terrain alignment collision will not be there for long if I delete that road and relay it but we're left in the same position again why would anybody want to go to Los Angeles there's nothing to do there I'm not supplying it with any goods that would generate jobs so what am I going to work on today don't know there you go thanks for watching I've been Colonel Failure no 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 um, Right. Well, first off, I think expanding on the uh, on the oil situation, given how well it pays off, having that pay off more often is a is a smart move to begin with. So we'll buy ourselves a second tanker because uh, I think bizarrely oil tankers might be my favourite vessel in the game. I couldn't tell you why, uh, but it, it just it, it, I just think it's you know an exciting new addition to the. Uh, to the setup, so I'm having one. Uh, put you on oil bulk, please. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's off, look. It's off and running, potentially, in a couple of minutes. Uh, it will need a name at some point, but I'm, I'm in no, there's no time for naming today. We've, we've, got, we've got bigger fish to fry. Indianapolis, I've, I've got to change it soon. Uh, but the other route that, uh, that I'm looking at right now is, well, there's two. There's two primary routes that we, we can go for here. We've got uh, Warren. So Warren will eventually, out of this you know, fairly large station we, we built for it, and given a, the number of passengers we've got here, I think, it's, you know, I think the time's about right. We want to extend from Warren out to Henderson uh, in such a place that we can then connect Salem to Henderson as well on our, on our passenger service. Likewise, uh, from the docks here just to the west of, uh, of Warren, I want to be adding a second uh, goods route that comes up and heads into Boston. Now, because Boston isn't growing yet, I think it's you know I think it's the perfect time to actually be setting that up. Um, 
and it's not going to be cheap because I want to bulldoze a fair chunk of this lot. So this is going to be, uh, you know, fairly close to the center of town. And I think that's where we're going. Yeah, you see, I've made my mind up. Um, right, so we need a good station. You can tell I've actually measured this out because I've already selected good station. We're not about to make, the, you know, the standard heinous, oh my God, he placed the wrong station again error. But I do need to find somewhere that keeps the track relatively flat. So the reason for, for this particular spot is because if I placed right here, just, you know, hypothetically, um, then we do cover both commercial and industrial in one hit, which is a good place to... So I'm waiting for a plane look. That's jolly decent of them. Um, yeah, and as such, you know, there's a there's there's good opportunity to deliver here without, you know, subsequent trucks being required. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a decent place to start off. But the idea will be that we'll we'll run out of here. It helps if you push the right button, of course. Um, yeah, we'll run out of here. We'll parallel the track down until we veer off dramatically just before Warren head down, link up, double track this station here, wait till full. That way, at least we're getting food going in that in up to Boston. Now, the, the next extension of that, because this is just plans within plans within plans, is uh, potentially delete these docks. Yeah, I know, that's radical. And, uh, and centralise everything around the dock here at the lake, because there's plenty of ship manoeuvring space there. And I may even go for two docks in that particular area. And then we will train food stuff and, uh, and stone out to the docks here, which should be a tidy, tidy little earner. So, you know, it's, it's only 1937 and we're already thinking redevelopment. Um, that's, you know, that's how we roll here. Got to keep your wits about you. Know, we, we play things, you know, pretty, pretty fast and pretty exciting. So let's get a station on the go and then I can shut up and we'll, we'll build something exciting. So I like that as a start off. Now, this is only ever going to be a delivery point, so I should only need one station. And the, the reason for going for one platform station one platform rather than two is uh, is relatively straightforward, and that is uh, that uh, I can I can get the town built around the outside of it. Now I could go for like a, a two hundred and forty meter station, given the the likelihood of of huge cargo trains in my future. But uh, to be honest, I don't need it. I honestly don't need it right now. This is gonna this is gonna drain my bank account quite nicely. That's okay. I've I've got no debts at the moment. We can, uh, you know, we can extend the loan. Do you think there, or do you want to get a bit closer? I think we'll go as close as we can. Right there. Okay. Well, that's a that's a commitment. Commitment right there. Okay. Good. Let's link this uh, link this chap up. There you go. No complaints. That's what we like to see. Now here comes the pricey bit. Let's get me uh, get the old train trackeroo here and. Uh, there you go. Draw a straight line. It's not even giving me the option to uh, to sort that out for me. It's going to make me do it manually, which is always fatal. Uh, how much have I got? Two eighty. No, no, no. Give me, give me a bit more cash. Come on. Trot on. Oh, there goes a DC three. Look at very, very high speed. Cheerio. Uh, come on, bit more. No, no, no. That's less. Uh, I'm just going to have to borrow the money. Let's borrow the money. Right, uh, borrow yeah, five million or to cut it. Uh, right. So, if I'm going through here, two buildings will be removed. Well, that's that's just a sign of, of not really thinking the placement through there, isn't it? But it's got to be done. I don't, I don't think I can avoid that second one, even if I pulled the most aggressive turn known to man. So, uh, oh well, never mind. It happens, and, and you know we're we're building for the future. We're building for our children and our children's children. Yeah, your history too, son. Uh, they, you know, there's there's no uh, no getting away from that one. Can we cut through? It would be nice to cut through. I'm sure we can. I think with a with a bit of judicious stone me, you want to remove a lot. That that's seventy seven hundred flipping. You come off it, you joker. All right, let's do a bit of that and see if that will... And a bit of, and a bit of this. 
and then let's see if it gives me a DA. Yeah, see, we've got, we got alternatives. 26 grand to delete that. Sold. There we go. Right, now let's get our high speed tracks up here. And actually, I am quite keen on on uh, on cutting a level crossing or two across here. I think, I think once the the city builds up, that could look uh, you know that could look quite exciting having a having a goods line running through the middle of it. Although you know, regrettably, I think I'm going to have to put this road back in first. That's annoying. Let's try that. I mean, it's not too much in case. I mean, just in case it doesn't work, you know, it's it's not the end of the world if this one doesn't entirely pay off. Stick the tram tracks back in because they're kind of fundamental. And then there is not too much curvature. Hush. Silence. Just go in, go in a straight line. What's your, what's, your, what's your issue here? There we go. Look, see, that's not so hard, is it? Magic. That, that looks pretty good. I mean, we've got a bit of a slope coming into the station there, but I mean, the only way around that is to is to pre-flatten land before uh, before building onto it, uh, so that you have got a, a perfectly flat surface on which to build. That also is not exactly what what I would have chosen, if I'm, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, let's uh, let's give that a smoother route. There we go. Now, you know, I want to build on, on the level of the road. That's that's absolutely fine. But uh, I don't need you to turn it into a trench when we come out the other side. There we are. That's better. Good. With this, I am satisfied. Uh, now, I just need to plant that road back in. I don't think I was actually using it, but, you know, it was there before, and... And you know there might be townspeople who have a who have a you know fond memories of, of strolling up that bit of lane before progress insisted it was demolished. Actually, I can't replace it, so uh, they're just going to have to lament the absence of that bit of lane. Right, let's bang a bit of road up here, nice and nice and straight. And we're, this is purely to give the uh, the AI some kind of an indication of. Of what uh, of what might work well. There you go. Marvelous. So the the catchment area of this station is, it's phenomenal. It takes in a good chunk of blue and a good chunk of yellow, which is the the scientific uh, colorization names there. Okay, right now we're going to run across here. Now there's two. No, I've got I've got the opportunity to do an exciting crossover, which is a, a new feature for the game. So we all want to see that. But likewise, I'm I'm just as excited to uh, to run this as a as a, a triple track here, even if it's only for a minute or two. Let's have a look. You want to charge me 180 large for that? That's that's not an insignificant amount of money, mind you. This is high speed track we're using, so I mean, you know, it's uh, it's potentially worth it. There you go. I think we saved a bit of cash there. Um, likewise, this this will probably. Well, I don't know. It depends. I mean, it really depends on how much. Um, how much goods end up being shipped up here, but uh, that could end up being quad tracked, and and you know that's that's pretty exciting stuff. So I can either now run down past Warren and then do some kind of executive. No, that's a terrible decision. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we can get out of this. Look at that. See, look at this effortless. Now, for those of you who never played Train Fever, you've you've uh, no, you've no idea how much magic there is in this particular manoeuvre. Look at that for a junction. That would never work. The, the, you know, the game would basically crash and forbid you from playing it again if you tried that in the previous game. Right, that's uh, uh, no, 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 no. You're getting you're getting overexcited, and it keeps getting overexcited like that because it is trying to snap to the road, which is another new feature. And I like it as a feature, 
but sometimes I just want to cross the road. All right, you cross the road. Just, just like, just cross the... No, you see, you've, you've got carried away again. That's better. Maybe the maybe the bird's eye top down view is the is the route to happiness here. Yeah, that's good too. And leaving these roads in place is pretty helpful because it allows uh, Warren to extend out this way should the AI deem it uh, deem it sensible. And I'm okay with burning off a bit of speed because this is going to be a good strain, so uh, it doesn't need to be stupendously. Uh, Stupendously what? Fast. There you go. That's the word. There you are. Right. All right. No, no, no. This is the point at which we build the track the other way. Okie dokie. Now, likewise, I think we're going to set this chap in motion. You can stop waiting for a minute. Go and, go and, go and ditch your load and the station will be all fresh and sparkly by the time you come back. There you go. I, well, give him close inspection on the way out. Such things are traditional. He's only got 22 on board. He can carry a lot more than that, but I want him out of the way. Because I'm going to do... I, I do obscene things to this station. Well, you say obscene. I'm basically going to upgrade it. Uh, right, I'm going to increase the size of it as well, which means I need to delete a bit of track. Because uh, we're, we're now into the, the, the future-proofing segment of things, where, you know, where we build in accordance with what we expect to happen as this uh, as this series uh, expands. Right, upgrade. Uh, I'm going to need at least two tracks, but let's go for more than two tracks because, as as mentioned on the outset, you know, the, the goal is that we have one distribution centre for, for each type of goods. And this here is food, and food we want to ship to as many places as possible. So, uh, yeah, we better stick catenary on there as well. I mean, that's half a million quid. I don't need to spend half a million quid now. How much can I get? I can I can drop that to 312 and then we'll expand it again later. Okay, well, remind me of this conversation when the time comes, shall we? I think, you know, that's that would be that would be a way to go. Okay, so we'll we'll run with a with a dedicated uh, dedicated track for each route. Now, if I just connect you up to there, what do you think? You think there's too much slope, there's a terrain alignment collision, uh, and you want to charge me six hundred grand. Now, I'm going to suggest that we can do it cheaper than that, and without any of the fuss. So first off, let's just get this pointing broadly in the right direction. Yeah, gouging out huge swathes of, of earth. I actually have no choice over because this won't go any higher. Um, the good, you know, no, I was about to say there was some good news there. There isn't. There, there is no good news. We can do this cheaper than six hundred grand. That's another hundred thousand down the pan and five eighty. Why are you trying to charge me so much money? If we do, yeah, if we make it automatic, is it going to? Uh, I mean, look at that. That's that's ridiculous. All right, let's go the other way and see if it's uh, see if it's any happier. See, one hundred and ten with too much slope. Now, now we can we can deal with two hundred with 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 that kind of money. Let's get rid of this bit of road and see if that makes it happier. Because there will be a point that there is too much slope, and it could be here. I mean, this is quite a steep... In fact, this is a very steep hill as we roll down towards the coast. So there's... I mean, there's no avoiding it being expensive. What we want to avoid is it being really expensive. Oh dear, no, we should have waited for that. Never mind. Oh well, that's they'll they'll rebuild. They'll they'll get over that. And there we go. With it will complete it, but it's gonna cost me half a million quid. Uh, can I see what's behind door number two, please? Cause that's 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 really quite expensive. 
But the problem is that I can't actually break the surface, so it's going to have to be a gouge. Oh well, we buy it once, and then uh, and then pay for it, you know, with our life savings. Right. Likewise, let's run another one out here. Or is it, I thought there for a moment that the the track laying tool had just forgiven uh, forbidden me from doing any more for a moment. Okay. Well, you know, that's that's that. The, the, that's the thing we've done there. That's that's happened. That's that's now past tense. Okay, the loan was only supposed to be a, a very minor kind of temporary deal, but it's uh, it's ended up being the star of the show. Uh, likewise, what are you? You you uh, no, 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 no. We can do better than that. Uh, extra wide street, six lane street. I don't think we're ever going to need a six lane street here, if I'm honest. I think we'll we'll stick on one of those and then not go that far. We'll go up here and then just casually pop a bridge over the track. Casually, there you go, pop a bridge over the track. What do you think? Well, there's enough room for a second line under there, so that's that's not too bad. And I just hope somebody uses it. You know, if, if they use it, then it was worthwhile. If they don't, then it wasn't worthwhile. Uh, good. Right. Yes. Splendid. That's... Ugly, but it will work. Um, right, I'm going to need to stick some signals on the main line here, and then we can stick a train on there. Uh, right, so... I want to give priority as much as possible to the uh, to the, the passenger line. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with... I'm going to play with signaling fire here. And we'll only put signals initially on the uh, on the goods line I think that will work I have nothing to back that up uh, other than you know I reckon I reckon that will work uh, next up what do we need to do here I need to likewise I also need uh, a merger line so that it can get to the depot now the the depot plan such as it is uh, involves it's I mean it's a it's quite a significant plan um, but it involves having one depot some some fall in the in the comments suggested that you know he enjoyed the challenge of having just one depot for for the entire network uh, because it was challenging now you know I uh, I like the sound of that um, so so that's what I'm going to work on despite the fact I've already got two depots um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work. I, I, I couldn't tell you for, so, for sure, but uh, we'll uh, we'll give it a try nonetheless. Uh, I also want to do one of those. Right. Anything else? No. That should that should do it. Although I would need to peel around and go that way because my my planned depot area is is probably around here. But I'm, I'm really going to have to give that a significant amount more thought. Anyway, I quite like that junction. As junctions go, I quite like it. Uh, right, let's... Well, you're not going to peel off on either of those unless you're actually, you know, heading somewhere. So, so theoretically, that should be fine. Equally, you just built that for absolutely no purpose at all. Oh, you well, Call it future-proofing again. You know, if you say it enough times, people will start to believe that you, you actually have a plan. Equally, I don't like this bit of track. Keep keep moving there, food train. I've got some more spending to do. And I don't know how I'm going to get this to work. Because I need a junction there. And I think I'm going to have to delete back that far. This is not going to be easy. It's also going to be expensive. But hey, not easy and expensive. It's that's like the tagline for everything I do. Or is it easy yet somehow made to be expensive? Don't you give me there's not enough room. There's tote or slope. Don't give me that either. Oh, I'm not impressed. Look, I left I left exactly the the prescribed amount of space to pull this junction off. 
too much slope. Where are you saying there's too much slope? I mean, there probably is too much slope, but, you know, let's... Can't we negotiate here? And I, we'll try a bit of smoothing, but, I, but for once, I don't think the magic brush is actually going to get the job done here. Yeah, try that on. I'm not going to spend any more than that. What have we got? Uh, I'll take from there and go like that. Too much slope. Nuts. All right. Uh, we need a we need a plan C because this plan sucks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Not thought this through. Which could also be the tagline for the show. Uh, if I run that out there, right, and then I run this out here, right, and then I run a split from there over here, and we make it look as intentional as possible. That'll do it. That's, you know, that's semi functional. It doesn't give us a lot of choices, and it's, you know, it, it probably violates several rules of, of, uh, of rail engineering, but uh, it should at least allow me to get a train out of here. I could have just placed another depot since this isn't in the place I actually want it to be. Anyway, we now need a train. No, we need a route. You'll always do the route before you do the train. Uh, right, new line, please. Or another new line. We don't. We don't need two new lines. I'm just, you see, we're getting trigger happy on the old lines there. From Warren Exchange up into Boston Temple Meads. Right. So this is uh, this is going to be. Uh, what's my naming convention here? Boss. Boss. Food. Boss. Just boss. Food. We could say bulk, but it's not a distribution setup. Right, so this is a... The idea behind bulk is those ones are then subsequently distributed by other vehicles. That's that's the way we're, we're running a naming convention. Right, train time. Well, uh, we like the Mikado. The 412, I think, is overkill for this particular line. I've got a, I've got a Milwaukee ready, but again, it's overkill right now. I think it's going to be a Mikado, to be honest, because they can, they can haul everything that I need, and they are relatively inexpensive. Uh, likewise, orange, not this time. Let's, let's go. What's it hauling? Food. What do we think of when we think food? Well, I think we think a, a, a vibrant dark green. Right. You want 2.85 million for one. Well, I'm just going to have to borrow some more money. And this is why, friends, I like to keep my loan as low as possible because I use this to uh, to accelerate the uh, the purchase of things that otherwise I shouldn't be able to afford. Uh, box car for food. Uh, yes, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 84. Should be more than it's ever likely to get for the time being. Boss, food, go, 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 go. Waiting for a free... You're going to be waiting for some time there. Uh, let's repay as much of that as we can. Right, let's go find it. There we go. Right, we got as far as not quite out of the station. That should be okay, though. We should be we should be all right. I'm going to stick a signal. I'm not going to stick anything anywhere for the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm completely, out of, completely out of juice. So we're waiting for our goods train to get back to its uh, its its native uh, resting area at Warren Exchange, which will tell it to wait for a full load. So the the goal here will be to now ramp up the uh, the amount of food being delivered here, uh, or rather the the amount of, of raw food, unprocessed. There you go, that's a good word. Uh, unprocessed food being delivered. So these two trains pick up relatively quickly because. It's just taking such a long time, and likewise, we're actually got fairly low uh, unprocessed food being delivered because somewhere there is a supply of it that's not being picked up. I'm looking to see if it's anywhere else, but it's not. It's right here. Uh, what are we doing? War grain and uh, war and grain and cow bulk. That's the that's you. Oi, you. Work faster. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to put another ship on that line. 
uh, which is delivering out here. Now that should drop off because the only thing that's that's really benefiting from that is Flint. Uh, and you know, and I think Flint by now is probably pretty well fed. Let's have a look here. Uh, food, 39 of 175. Flint is not particularly well fed at the current time, but there is a hell of a lot of stone waiting. More ships, or we, we escalate the, uh, the, the, the change in delivery plans. Likewise, we've got quite a bit of food waiting there as well. Hmm. Well, you know, we're, ju we're just going to have to see how that pans out. Meanwhile, I want to make sure that you are also waiting until full. There we go. So this is the... Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks, I think it looks rather sporting in the dark green. Uh, it's almost a British racing green out here in America. Um, yeah, that's quite pleasant. Uh, let's get it out the other side of the tunnel. Come on, chop, chop. There we go. Now, this is going to serve a, you know, a valuable public service, if you can serve a service, um, in terms of delivering to Boston, which should, you know, it should fuel its growth quite nicely. Once we actually get the goods in for that to happen, look, there's twin Mikados. There you go. That's that's your screenshot right there. Look at that. That's that's rock and roll. That is. Where's the angle? Let's let's find the angle that really, you know, the the one that pays. Where's the one we stick on a on a postcard and and sell in the gift shop? No, to be honest, I think I had it already. I think that's the one. Okay, so we, you know we're going to wait for this to build up, and it's going to require more ships. And actually, you know, more is is basically the the you know the talking point for the entire network at the moment. Um, uh, the higher water has become available, and that's you know quite the speed demon, which could turn my two passenger lines into three passenger lines. Among the passenger lines it could aid, uh, it should you know generate quite a bit more money. Uh, a quick look at the budget. I blew 10 million last year. Perfect. Uh, that's exactly what I was hoping to do. Um, anyway, that's quite enough for now. I'll catch up with you very soon where we shall expand further. And you never know, these chaps might have actually de departed on a voyage of some description. If not, then, you know, they'll be sitting here looking all shiny and helping to sell more postcards in the gift shop. Thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, chuck a like on this one if you enjoyed it. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, but don't chuck a like on it. You know, you don't have to enjoy it. It's not mandatory. Uh, and subscribe, please, if you've not yet done so, because it's much appreciated. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.